this weighs a ton. Today's video, opening a box. I know what you're thinking. What do we do? Someone sitting there opening a box. Actually, two boxes. This box contains the wheel motor we need for the chopper bike and this box contains the discs we need to put on the wheel motor. Not really one for sitting there watching people opening boxes. Uh, I don't know how this is gonna go, so bear with me. This is the name of the company that made the wheel. I'm not even gonna to attempt to say it. Uh, if you basically get your keyboard and run your finger from one end to the other, that's the name of the company. It doesn't matter which way you go. You kind of just a load of jumbled up letters just thrown together. Either way, you'll get there. Let's get this monstrosity out of the way because it's huge. It weighs a ton and it's taken up quite a lot of room in my shed. Shed, stroke man cave, stroke studio, uh, stroke uh, gets me out of the house, away from the kids. A um, bit of peace and quiet. As you can probably see, I have a load of white on the walls. Uh, I'm trying to insulate the shed to make it soundproof, uh, make it a little bit warmer because as you probably know from last, uh, from some of the old videos, it's freezing out here uh, and I don't really enjoy freezing my nuts off. As always, get your Stanley blade, avoid cutting any fingers or limbs off because obviously this could be a pain in the ass. Obviously when you are cutting boxes open, be careful not to go too deep because you could end up cutting open what's inside. I ordered it on eBay, it cost me £150 uh, and it arrived within seven working days I do believe, uh, which I was impressed with. Obviously, let's see what's inside. Jesus, it's a little limbo to do that with. Uh, so, from the start we've got instructions, uh, I do believe this one seems to be in German and this is English, uh, seems to be quite straightforward, lots of pictures for diagrams which is always helpful, um, obviously I'm a man so I shouldn't really need the instructions but I might have to uh, take a look at them at some point. Seems quite straightforward, I must admit. And this seems to be for the pedal assist, which I don't really care for because I still don't want to pedal this bike. So, lots of pilot styrofoam, as you would imagine. Might use that for when I have piles next. Uh, so we've got a bag which I presume you put your controller in. Probably not going to use that because we want to go with uh, the petrol tank version. We've got some bungee cord, which I will not be using, and the pedal assist, which I will fit, but probably won't use. We'll see how it goes. So, that's that. Then we've got this box. No gun. Inside the box we have two handlebar grips, which I'm not going to use because they're a bit cheap. And we have some kind of little round ring. This could be put in there by mistake. Well, it could be needed for something, so we we'll have to see about that. And then we've got two brake levers, which are metal and very cold. And we've got the farm assist, uh, which goes that way. Got a battery indicator there, so you've got empty, half, and full. Uh, and a little button, which I do know, do not know what this is for just yet. So I did want to go for a twist throttle rather than a thumb throttle, just because it's a bit more like an actual motorbike. Um, I've never actually used a thumb throttle. But I can imagine they're just as much fun. And then we've got our, our cable. So this is our mains cable with like some kind of mad door on it. Seems like it's got like a kettle plug. Indicate, uh, 
kettle plug on it. So I presume the controller's got one on it as well. Yep. So that will open up and that will go in there. Seems to be extreme really. So we'll see. Might not. That might be changed as well. Then we've got a 48 volt, 1000 uh, watt controller, which is quite hefty actually. It's a big old beast. So I went with a 48 volt, 1000 watt motor, uh, controller motor because um, I think more is better when it comes to things like this. Um, the downside about getting something so as big as this obviously you need a big battery so uh, the battery hasn't arrived yet so I'm hoping it'll be here in the near future can I get it I'll get that on there. that's the controller and we've got more polystyrene and even more polystyrene even more polystyrene and then we have the wheel I'm going to get rid of this box and all this polystyrene because, oh, another power ring. Let's take that one room. I'm back. The idea is I bought this petrol tank um, and painted it up. This is going to hold the controller. Uh, it all works out quite well. So sat in there, uh, I got access to the cables and just need to find a way of sticking that in so it's not going to rattle around. This is the look I'm going for so I'm quite pleased with how that turned out. And I'll have a purchase with this box. And this is, right, so I've got two brake levers which I don't need because these are just for a normal bike. So they can go in the bin got some brake cables which I don't know whether these are long enough yet um, I've only really got to go from can you see that obviously I'm got, I've got the big uh, ball horns on my chopper so I need to go from here down to there which is a bit further than a normal bike has to go so we'll see I might have to order some more of those I've got two brake calipers which I only need one because we're, we're only going with one uh, obviously, I'm sure you know how a brake caliber works. Just basically pull it and it tightens the brake disc in there. And they are F stroke 180 slash R stroke 160. If that means anything to you, fair play to you. If it doesn't, you're as clueless as I am. So we've got two of those. Um, got a little logo on the side. Good or not? Got a little bag of uh, bolts, Allen key bolt, bolts. Probably use the bolts from the wheel because we don't know if these are slightly longer. And damage things. We've got two brake discs, so the good thing is for the next build, these will come in handy. But that's the style of brake disc I'm going with. I think it's kind of cool. Nice little uh, design. Oh, you want to see the wheel, don't you? This way a lot. So this is the wheel and the wheel motor. This is basically your cable that's going to run into your controller, which is good. Uh, it weighs a lot, I must admit. I've gone for a 24 inch wheel, is it right? No, so I've gone with a 26 inch wheel. Uh, the one that's on there at the moment is 24 inch. I know that's a two inch difference, I'm not that thick. I don't really see it being an issue, just being two inches. It should still be, um, should it be? Yeah, it shouldn't, it shouldn't be an issue. So, good job I kept my pile ring, because I'm gonna stick that on there and then hopefully it doesn't damage anything <laughs> look at that so probably gonna 
do some funky writing on the tire. The grips. All right, you see it? Don't know really now that goes with what I've got going on. I'll find out another time. So, as for fitting the brake disc on, yeah, the brake disc goes this side uh, of the wheel. I take it, you just take them off. I think there's like a, some kind of plastic washer there which you remove because your disc is going to be the same size as that. Put a bit of air in it because it's quite flat. And we can attach it to the bike, which is cool. As you can see, this wheel is black with a silver around the edge. My rear wheel is silver. Um, so I think my next job needs to be to paint that, to replicate this wheel. So they're both, I think it's my OCD kicking in. We want to make them both look the same. So we've come with a front wheel motor. Uh, the reason for this is one, it's cheaper. Uh, it's in my budget to do it this way. Uh, I think the drive is going to be a bit odd because it's going to be pulling you rather than pushing you. Um, but from what I can gather, I've sort of watched some videos and uh, everybody seems to say the same thing. You get used to it quite quick. Uh, it is a bit weird at first, the sensation of being pulled rather than pushed. Um, but you, you do kind of get used to it. So this is my video of me unboxing a wheel from a box. Uh, looking at some brake discs that I purchased and just having a bit of a ramp. As always guys, thank you for watching, give us a thumbs up, subscribe somewhere down the bottom and I'll catch you in the next one.